do you believe that Kling 1.6 can turn you into Spielberg? In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how to transform boring AI videos into Hollywood-worthy shots, reveal professional camera tricks, and spill the tea on whether Kling Pro is actually worth your hard-earned cash. Let's start with the fundamentals, Kling's prompt structure. Kling is different from other AI video tools. For image to video, they use what they call Kling spells. The structure is straightforward. First, you mention your subject, like a person, animal, whatever, and then you describe the camera movement. Simple. With Runway, for example, the camera movement comes first, then your scene. Meanwhile, Kling makes your subject the star of the show. It's a totally different mindset. For text to video in Kling, the structure expands a bit more. You'll want to include three key components. Subject description, what they look like. Subject movement, what they're doing. And setting, where they are. Finally, we wrap up with the camera movement. So go ahead and list all those juicy details about your subject, their awesome hairstyle, what they're wearing, facial expressions, and describe if they're running, walking, dancing, then set the scene. Get to know some essential camera techniques. All right, let's talk camera control, starting with the basics, how to get our camera perfectly still. I use the magic words, fixed lens. Most people go with image to video feature, where you can upload a reference image and add your prompt below. Kling 1.6 made this way easier, but it doesn't always work the first time. If you notice unwanted movement, click the redo button and try again. Want to get up close and personal with your subject? Just type zoom in. Boom, instant close up. Need some breathing room instead? Camera pullback is your best friend. And if things are moving like molasses, throw in the word fast to speed things up. My absolute favorite effect though, the rotating camera move. It creates that epic cinematic arc shot where the camera circles around your subject. And for those amazing drone shots flying through landscapes, FPV will give you that immersive drone-like experience. Level up with advanced movements and combinations. Now that you've got the basics down, let's kick things up a notch. We can start combining camera movements with character directions for more complex scenes. Try something like, the woman with wide panicked eyes stands in the middle of an abandoned alley, her body tensing with fear. The camera rotates around her to capture her frantic expression, then pulls back to reveal her gripping a knife defense. See what we did there? By mixing camera movement with character emotion and action, you're directing your mini movie scenes. Want dramatic reveals? Use crane shots? Start at eye level and tell the camera to fly overhead to reveal your subject from above. This technique is amazing for showing off geometric patterns or cool ground elements. And hey! Why stop at just one movement? String them together. Try camera pulls back, then tilts up to reveal the sky. Color consistency is just as crucial. This happens from time to time. The colors sometimes go crazy midway through AI videos. One minute everything looks normal, then suddenly, bam, everything's super vibrant and oversaturated. So distracting, right? The fix is simple. Just add muted colors to your prompt. This little phrase tells the AI to maintain consistent colors throughout the whole video, matching your original reference image. The most important tip for controlling camera movement, adding scene context. Speaking Speaking of making your videos look professional, here's my special tip for getting Kling to do exactly what you want. Instead of just describing camera movement alone, connect it to what the camera is showing. Don't just say zoom in. Say zoom in on her eyes or pull back to reveal her standing in a garden. Let me show you why this matters so much. Imagine you want this character to turn toward the camera and raise a weapon. If you simply prompt, he turns around and raises a pistol, camera zooms in, gets Guess what happens? He might make a tiny turn, but still be facing away when he raises the weapon. Totally ruins the effect. But here's what happened when I say zoom in on his eyes. Bam! This forces the character to turn fully toward the camera because, duh, the AI has to show those eyes. I tested this like 50 times and the difference is crazy dramatic. What if you want to create complex scenes beyond ordinary settings? When you've got several subjects doing different things, list them 
them sequentially in your prompt. Try something like, the woman stands in the foreground, leaves blow through the scene in the background, camera slowly zooms in on the woman. Notice how clear that is? The AI knows exactly which subject to focus on and how to move the camera. Let's not forget about special environments. This is where things get really interesting. For underwater scenes type, woman swims underwater, camera follows her through bubbles and light rays, muted blue colors. That instantly creates an underwater atmosphere. And remember our color consistency trick with muted blue colors? That keeps everything looking polished. You can apply this same approach to all kinds of creative environments, zero gravity in space, dramatic slow motion in rainfall, or even surreal dreamscapes. When you combine your context techniques with these environmental details, your AI videos will stand out. Don't forget to specify lighting and atmosphere in your prompts. Using terms like ambient lighting, morning light, sunset, or interplay of light and shadow can completely transform the feeling of your video. Think about it, the same scene at noon versus sunset, totally different vibes. For that extra polish, adding the word cinematic to your prompt can work wonders. Pair it with mood descriptors like dramatic, mysterious, or ethereal to dial in exactly the feeling you're going for. And here's a great tip for action scenes. Include motion blur and sense of speed to get that professional high budget look. Finally, is Klings Pro worth the investment? It's the question everyone's been asking me, and here's the honest breakdown. Standard mode looks pretty natural, but the details aren't always super crisp. With Pro Mode, you'll notice richer details and more stable camera movements. Things like sails on boats behave more realistically and water flows in a way that looks much more natural. The trade-off? Pro Mode generations take quite a bit longer, so get ready to practice your patience. So what's my verdict? If you're mainly using image to video with properly upscaled images, you don't need to shell out for Pro. The standard version will handle most of your creative projects just fine, but if you're creating professional content or those extra features sound essential, the upgrade makes sense. The techniques we just discussed, combined with the right approach to Kling's features, will help you create videos that truly stand out, whether you're using the free version or splurging on Pro. Next time someone asks, how'd you make that? Swing and say, camera secrets! Want to try these amazing AI yourself? All links and resources are awaiting you in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.